go ahead and hit the start recording button because we're recording for another video that's supposed to be out today. Uh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just J. Sama. If you guys cannot see, I'm currently live on YouTube.com slash Just J. Sama slash live. Um, we're streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, we've officially dropped Twitch because there's now no point in streaming on Twitch since uh, they don't allow copyrighted music now. That was literally the only reason why I was streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch. That was the only reason why. I love you too, Sebi. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so today we're actually talking about something a little, uh, a little stupid, a little, controvers a little bit of controversy, you know. Uh, I'm not really happy to report on it. I'm not really happy to pull it up. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to cover the chat for a second. But, um, so the previous, I didn't make a video on this, which I absolutely should have, but, um, the previous PlayStation 5 announcement event got delayed because of all the protests and everything else, which, honestly, I could talk about, talk about that shit all day, because, um, it seems like any other time there isn't, it's just become fashionable to care about black people all of a sudden. Uh, that's why all of these companies are are saying things. Uh, a lot of a lot of these companies don't really do anything year round for black communities, so it's really kind of hard to believe anybody that just like, oh, well, because of Black Lives Matter and this is very important, we're gonna delay our PlayStation Five. First of all, y'all didn't give a fuck in February. Y'all didn't give a fuck in March. Y'all didn't give a fuck in April, May, June, and y'all just don't care, okay? You really don't. So faking the funk like you actually do, like I just wish a lot of companies wouldn't do that. Um, there are companies that do give a shit uh so shout out to them i'm glad they do um but this just seems like a, it's a political ploy because everybody doesn't want to look like they're on the wrong side of history on this one but i mean it is what it is like i said i can talk about that shit all day so we'll probably talk about that during the stream when we're murdering white people uh playing mafia 3 today so um but there is an update as of this thursday so today as of the recording of this video is monday june 8th uh as <laughs> Thursday, we will be getting the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Now, I don't know what this console is going to look like. I've Googled it. I've I've looked at concepts and I've looked at leaks and shit. And all of them are ugly as fuck. I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not even excited for this. I could give two fucks about this at this point. Like, it's been delay after delay after delay with the PlayStation 5. Um, dog. We get it. You did time, homie. Just, just bring me to the party, okay? That's all. That's all anybody's asking for. You just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and it's like, bro. I don't know if anybody told you this, but the PlayStation 4 is still alive and well. You're not gonna come to the party and fuck, bro. She's not gonna fuck you. It's not. It's not happening. I'm sorry. You're gonna get what? A couple, couple thousand, maybe ten thousand units sold. I'm not saying it this and the xbox are not going to sell well but i'm just saying i don't think anybody's desiring these like like i have to have fucking have them not only that it's rumored that the price point is 650 dollars and i know you guys have seen me make jokes on twitter about this bro i would let zendaya peg me for a playstation 5 honestly like i i want to have one but i don't want to spend any of my own money so i'd rather give up my asshole than, than spend 650 dollars on this console that i don't fucking want so it is what it is but um i'm looking forward to seeing some games they're obviously going to show the last of us i remember it was recently announced as of I think it was July 13. There's like a registry um, for all of the games that are on PlayStation 4 currently. Uh, they basically, the developers or like the publishers or something have to sign up uh, to have their games put on PlayStation 5. So I don't know how that works. I didn't do any research on it because that was really not a point that I was going to talk about in this video, but who gives a fuck? Um, basically, it's for backwards compatibility. So all the stuff that's on PlayStation 4 up until a certain point is going to be put on PlayStation 5, which is cool great hunky dory i love that shit but like i said you got to bring your dick to the party bro if you think you're gonna fuck so um this is not exciting for me i really don't care uh the games are gonna be fire of course we're gonna get that young horizon 2 we're gonna get the new god of war 5 uh maybe an infamous later on down the line once sucker punch is done with ghost of tsushima we're gonna get ghost of tsushima on playstation 5 so all of this stuff is gonna be great a year from now like in a year the playstation 5 is really going to be hitting different i promise you but like when this drops we gonna be like all right well that's cool and of course there's going to be playstation 5 exclusive games like that's going to be without a doubt cool no problem but imagine 
still spending time with your amazing PlayStation 4. Or, you know what, let's expand, you know, for the for the teeny tiny dicks out there. Let's talk about the fucking Xbox, uh, you know. The, whenever you actually do buy one a year after release, you're going to have plenty of discounted games to play. Like, I, just imagine, like, you're going to have six, seven, eight games to play all at one time. Whereas, like, remember when the PlayStation 4 dropped and, like, there was still like hefty games coming out in 2012 2013 2014 like right around there and then the playstation 4 came out and they put gta 5 Watch Dogs, and fucking uh what else was on there uh i don't remember because i didn't uh, oh, oh fucking uh killzone was one of the only ones that was playstation 4 exclusive infamous like all of those games came out right around the same time then there was destiny and that was still on playstation 3 and you can play it on playstation 4 it's like this really weird odd console duality situation where the playstation 4 couldn't proceed forward because the playstation 3 was still down here you know what i mean but like it was still getting good games like the last of us had come out so it was like one of those things where it's like ah. Uh, I don't know. The, my, my last console seems like it's still good, but as I stated in a previous video, um, the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4, like the leaps graphically were huge. Now, the leap graphically for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, completely different. It's not as high, which I've seen a lot of people complaining about on, on Gamer Twitter. Gamer Twitter is probably one of the most fucking pretentious uh, entitled places to ever be but you know whatever that's where i get all my news from now um <laughs> so anyway the graphically we're not making a huge jump now as far as speedy boot ups okay we're getting that loading screens you don't have to wait 10 and a half years for your gta 5 to load up like i'm very excited about that so State drives are a standard now, okay? Um, so should uh, 1080p 60 FPS, but apparently we still can't get that, yet somehow we're claiming we can do 4K. Uh, most games don't even run properly at 1080 60, so I'm not really sure how the rest of this is gonna work. But you know, I mean, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a guy with 7K subs, uh, hopefully 8K soon um so if we can make that happen please subscribe if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit the like button um but that's gonna be pretty much it i don't know if any of you i literally don't even want to read the rest of this article because it's telling me literally three or four times june 11 1 p.m uh let's see we're 25 years it talks about the history yeah this article is useless once again june 11 uh 1 p.m so it's like okay well we know when the event is we know exactly what's going to happen and we pretty much know what to expect um, so if you guys have any thoughts or opinions, let me know, please. I'm very interested to hold a conversation, except for with the toxic people that be in the comments section. And y'all know I really, really don't fuck shit. So anyway, this has been your man, Jay. I will catch you guys on the next one. You know to keep it can.